A Turkish NGO-backed group in Bangladesh has displayed maps of Greater Bangladesh that showed several Indian states of eastern and northeast regions as part of Greater Bangladesh. Chennai-based Big Bang Boom Solutions has delivered the first batch of its Vajra Sentinel Next Generation Counter Unmanned Aerial System to the Indian Air Force. After using Pakistan to test its weapons against India, China is now propping up Bangladesh and is inspecting to build an air base in an area of Bangladesh that is just 20 kilometers from the Indian border. After poor performance of Chinese weapons by Pakistani military, Chinese Foreign Minister has invited Pakistan's Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister for a three-day official visit, and Pakistan has been ordered to hide the losses of its Chinese origin fighters, as China wants to offer the J-10C to the Colombian Air Force. Indian Army's Osa AKM surface-to-air missile system has been spotted with 13 kill marks, signifying the successful destruction of Turkish-made drones during the recent operation against Pakistan. Indian Army's invention of mounting multiple assault rifles on a rotating frame had effectively neutralized scores of Pakistani drones, that includes the Turkish Songar. The Indian Army has disclosed for the first time that its T-72 main battle tanks were deployed to destroy Pakistani military posts on 7th May along the line of control. The Director General of Indian Army Air Defense has said that the whole of Pakistan is within range, and even if they relocate Pakistan Army's general headquarters from Rawalpindi to regions like Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. The Indian Army chief visited the forward areas of the Konak Corps in the desert sector, and he commended the exceptional courage and operational readiness of the troops during recent operation against Pakistan. <laughs> The RDO's airborne self-protection jammer pod has successfully cleared key development and certification milestones, paving the way for fleet-wide integration. Tarmac Media has reported that the aeronautical development establishment is preparing to fly test a new scaled-down variant of its Swift, which has been dubbed as Swift K, that has been developed in partnership with Indian industry. It is designed to operate at 0.6 Mach and is equipped with an integrated warhead for kamikaze strikes, and two prototypes have been made to prove technologies. The advanced variant of the Abyash high-speed expendable aerial target is in the advanced stages of development, that will also incorporate an integrated warhead, effectively transforming it into a high-speed kamikaze drone with a range of 400 km. Larsen and Tubro is in discussions with the RDO to produce up to 300 units. The Su-30 fighter jets will receive the 2500 transmit receive module based Virupaksa radar, that is designed specifically to detect and track stealth aircraft at long ranges. The Virupaksa radar can detect a 1 square meter radar cross section target at 600 km, and detect low observable targets with an RCS of 0.01 square meters at 200 km range, and this range comfortably places stealth aircraft within beyond visual range missile engagement envelopes, transforming the Su-30 into stealth jet hunters. After US, France, Australia and Japan, Taiwan has now sought data on recovered Chinese PL-15 missile from India. Hindustan Aeronautics has successfully indigenized the fuel air valve for the Jaguar strike aircraft, that facilitates the transfer of fuel from the external drop tank to the supply tank through pressurization. Many defense public sector undertakings and private defense companies will showcase the Indian defense industry prowess at the Lima 2025 in Malaysia from today. Today's top 3 comments. <laughs>